dear student, we are going to see how to solve the dice based question very easily. And then we are going to discuss, I said that uh, one rule, I said that for dice, find one similar face on two different dice, find one similar face on two different dice, find one similar face, I said that, on two different dice and rotate clockwise from the similar face and rotate clockwise I said that rotate clockwise from the similar face. So here I am seeing that there is a two different dice and there is an I said 3, 2, 5 and 3, 6, 1 is written. So in those two dice we are watching I said that there is a 3 is similar and 3 is similar. No other number is similar. So 3 is similar. I will take 3 as a similar from this dice and thereafter I will rotate clockwise and after 3 they will be coming of 2 and after the 2 there is a coming of 5. And now after taking this one, I will come here, then again I will take 3 here and the similar face, one similar face I am talking about and again rotate clockwise from here, then I said there is 6 and then again I said 1. Then after 3 there is a clockwise, there will be 6 is coming and after the 6, 1 is coming. So this way we have arranged the numbers and then I said that this way we have made an, uh, this rectangular box and this is known as a 2 is opposite to 6 and the 6 is opposite to 2 and we can say like I said that 5 is opposite to 1 and 1 is opposite to 5. So we have been able to find these 4 numbers but after that we are able to see in this number 4 is not available. It means 3 and 1 it is available 3 so 3 opposite 4 and 4 opposite 3. We can again I said that how to do this question. Again I said that take the similar face on the two different dice and the two different dice there is a 3 is similar and from the 3 I said that take the clockwise rotation though so I have taken 3, 2, 5 I have taken 3, 2, 5 and here I have taken 3, 6, 1 and then 3, 6, 1 and then 2 opposite 6 and then 5 opposite 1 or 6 opposite 2, 2 opposite 6, 5 opposite 1, 1 opposite 5 and out of all these numbers we are not able to see 4 we can be able to say 3 opposite 4 and we can be able to easily find and this kind of question and remember that again I said that students please understand there are four five different dices or three dices are given doesn't matter you have to take only two dice where there is a one similar phase where there is a one similar phase again I said that and then rotate the clockwise and with the help of this you can be able to solve around 90 90 to 95 percent question easily the number of rectangles and number of squares and we can be able to see here it is uh, I said that uh, find the number of squares and number of rectangles the rule one will have to see like I said that when the number of rows and number of columns are equal here you can say that there is an I said that two rows and two columns so I said that there is two rows and two columns here you can say that there is an I said uh, three rows and there is an I said three columns so three rows and three columns now we'll have to see like I said that how to how, how to see the question to do like this so first find the number of row find the number of squares you'd like to see for this one two rows two columns so two rows two columns I'll say that I write one square plus two square so because the maximum number of rows and number of columns is two so I'll go till two and starting from the one so one square plus two square for the square I'll take Number of square clinical nickel, I'll take I said that is square one is square plus two is square and then it becomes one is square one and then two is square four then it becomes five. Suppose here it is in this I said that number of square there is an I said that it has been uh, there and there is a three rows and three columns we can be able to see and here we have to find out number of squares so maximum three rows three columns so I'll take a start from one and I'll go till three so one square plus two square plus three square and we can be able to say I said that one plus four plus nine that become number of square is 14 similarly if there is in you know, a four rows and four columns are there then we'll do like one square plus two square plus three square plus four square and then we will add it and it will become like 30 now suppose I said that but number of rectangle is always greater than number of rectangle is always greater than number of squares and uh, let us see I said that finding out number of rectangle and if I am finding number of rectangle then I will have to do there is you know, two rows and two, two, two rows and two columns so I will start from the 1 to 2 but I take this time as a cube so I said that 1 cube plus 2 cube 1 Q 
cube means 1 and 2 cube means 8 and that becomes total 9. But here there is a 3 rows and 3 columns are there and then here you have to find out the number of rectangle. So in that case I will start with I said that 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube and I said that 1 cube and starting from 1, 2, 3 and in the form of cube and then 1 cube means 1, 2 cube means 8 and 3 cube means 27 and this way we are able to get total number of rectangles 36. Now this way we can be able to find the number of squares and the number of rectangles easily when the number of rows and number of columns are equal.